Hey, good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, for the past couple days we've been building this small standalone system to complement this uh, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate uh, from Power Queen. Really like this size of a battery. 200 amp hours is something you can really work with. Drop this into the workshop out here as a standalone system to power many things out here. We're going to ask quite a bit of it. And we just got the system up and running today. Spent about a day laying the system out on the floor the way I wanted it to look like and how to configure it with the amount of space that I'm working with. And this worked out just about perfectly. I'm really uh, happy to have had the experience I've had uh, in the previous systems I've built and it made this one uh, a lot easier and faster to uh, complete. So I just wanted to show uh, you guys that just one battery, uh, especially a 200 amp hour uh, size of a battery, is something you can really just drop in and really, you know, power up a good portion of your house or workshop. Uh, whether it's emergency use, whatever it might be, 200 amp hours is really something you can work with. I like that. Uh, it gives you a lot more versatility. So coming here off the terminals, you know, we've got our uh, positive and negative right there. And following the positive lead, coming to a 100 amp fuse into a 100 amp circuit breaker. I'm also going to use that as a kill switch if need be. Uh, I like that for this system. Your system may vary, uh, but I'm liking that for this one. Tied into a positive bus bar. Coming off on this side is another 100 amp hour, or 100 amp fuse, excuse me, up to that 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. That's a, a PSW Con. I've used it in a lot of demonstrations. I really like it. It hasn't failed uh, one single time. And then, so I'll go back down, follow the negative off. The negative, these are all uh, uh, two AUG cables, which is what I need for this system coming up. First of all, to that battery shunt, that ILEE or Q work, uh, goes by different names. This particular battery monitor, uh, I like it. I use it in another system. I like the fact that I can just walk into the room and at a glance I can see what my state of charge is. I learned a lot about hooking this up and from my previous mistakes. The only thing I'm going to add here that I haven't added yet is I'm going to put a little 5 amp breaker in line right there. I didn't have one. And I just decided to tie it up anyway. It's in there nice and secure. As you know, I've uh, experienced what an insecure 22 gauge wire can do to your system. And coming off of that into the negative bus bar. Up to the negative end of the inverter. Up here we've got 300 watts of solar coming in. To a battery ice or to the uh, solar panel isolator which I have off because I've got one more panel I'm going to tie in there. Using the Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller MPPT 7515 I've showed you how much I'm liking this uh, so I decided to tie it into a complete standalone uh, little system here. Also I've got a uh, 30 amp breaker coming off the uh, between the battery positive here and the positive bus bar just as an extra precaution so I've got it well fused uh, the breakers that I need for this and in an upcoming uh, in fact probably the next video uh, really gonna ask a lot of this system and put it through a, a kind of a fun test but I was pretty excited that I got it all tied up today, sitting crouched uh, all day long, but it's up and running. I'm really happy with the way that looks. 
It fits into the space that I needed to use. And we're going to show you what we're going to ask of that thing. But yeah, 200 amp hours. We're going to put a little workout on that baby. Sitting there at a 100% full. It's ready. It's ready. Also, I'll show you one more thing. I do have a just a, uh, a light plugged into there for now. It's getting starting to get dark here. About 80 degrees Fahrenheit. But anyway, on this end of the uh, uh, inverter, I've got this watt meter that I'm going to use for. I decided to go ahead and mount it up here on the wall for the uh, upcoming demonstrations so I can uh, show you guys what we're taxing this system uh, amperage wise and wattage wise. We can run a dip, couple different loads and show you exactly what's coming off of there. So looking real forward uh, to doing that, but real happy with this. One of the little things I was real pleased about was even, you know, Getting that nice little short run in there. That was nice. Take my time. Made a few of my own uh, cuts and crimps, uh, as well as used a lot of stuff that was already uh, uh, pre-manufactured. Came out with a pretty nice little standalone system for a 200 amp hour bank. And it just fits up there really nice. All right, well, I'm really looking forward to showing you what we're going to do with this in the next video. It's going to be a lot of fun. You might hear those kopi frogs in the background. They're just now starting to chirp, sound like little birds. All right, everybody. Hope you're having a good weekend. Aloha.